Ever wondered how the fascinating Tesla valve, a one-way flow mechanism, operates when arranged in a series? Well, prepare to delve into a world where fluid dynamics and ingenious design intertwine. Imagine a river flowing smoothly through a winding path. Now, imagine if this river could only move in one direction. This is essentially what the Tesla valve, invented by the brilliant mind of Nikola Tesla, accomplishes. But when these valves align in a series, something even more intriguing happens. Picture a sequence of Tesla valves, like dominoes falling one after the other. Each valve is a maze-like pathway, designed in such a way that fluid finds it easy to flow in one direction, but incredibly challenging to flow in the other. When these valves are placed in series, the fluid or gas entering the system encounters one Tesla valve after another, each one reinforcing the one-way flow. This ingenious series arrangement intensifies the unidirectional flow, making it even more difficult for the fluid to reverse its course. Each Tesla valve in the series acts like a gatekeeper, ensuring the fluid continues to flow in the desired direction. This series arrangement is like a one-way superhighway with multiple checkpoints, all directing traffic in one direction. So, what have we learned about Tesla valves in series? Firstly, a series of Tesla valves amplifies the one-way flow effect. Each valve in the series adds an additional layer of resistance to any fluid attempting to move in the opposite direction. Secondly, the series arrangement of Tesla valves does not require any moving parts or external input to maintain the desired flow. This makes Tesla valves in series an incredibly efficient and robust system for controlling fluid direction. Lastly, while individual Tesla valves are remarkable, when combined in a series, they create a powerful system where the whole is certainly greater than the sum of its parts. In essence, Tesla valves in series create a powerful one-way flow system. Each valve reinforces the next, ensuring that the fluid or gas continues to move in the desired direction. This ingenious design, devoid of moving parts or external input, highlights the brilliance of Nikola Tesla's invention. Whether for industrial applications, biomedical devices, or even space exploration, the potential uses of Tesla valves in series are as vast as they are fascinating. So, the next time you think about the flow of fluids or gases, remember the Tesla valve, a marvel of design and fluid dynamics and imagine how a series of these valves could work together to control and direct that flow. It's another testament to the enduring genius of Nikola Tesla, whose inventions continue to inspire and influence our world. And that, in a nutshell, is the intriguing story of Tesla valves in series. This is a Tesla valve in series. In the initial segment, the fluid's velocity determines the color hue, with the speed represented by the hue intensity. In the subsequent segment, the flow direction influences the hue, while the speed affects the brightness. The fluid's velocity field is visualized using 1,000 tracer particles randomly placed across the simulation area. Due to periodic boundary conditions, vortices seamlessly transition across the rectangular display area. The compressible Euler equations, which are partial differential equations, describe the fluid's density and velocity field. This system requires additional information for closure, as the pressure, which is crucial for the velocity equation's right-hand side, must be connected to known variables through a thermodynamic equation. Here, the fluid is considered an ideal gas, with pressure directly proportional to density. Compared to their incompressible counterparts, simulating the compressible Euler equations is somewhat more straightforward since it eliminates the need for enforcing a zero divergence on the velocity field. Nonetheless, these simulations are more susceptible to numerical instabilities, necessitating the integration of a smoothing mechanism to prevent numerical explosion. This approach is akin to introducing slight viscosity, effectively treating the equations as a variant of the Navier-Stokes equations.